Hey everybody, it's Mike here, Mike's Other Page. It's Tuesday, 5 o'clock somewhere, tropical update time here on YouTube. Got a lot to talk about. We got Invest 98. Tricky, tricky, tricky little setup here we got going on. We're going to talk about right now. Um, thanks for coming over to my YouTube channel though, by the way. We're growing. We really appreciate it. Please subscribe, share it, like. We're, uh, we're trying to get these little quickies up there. And we do do our daily brew here also. We're live in the mornings tomorrow. Uh, Wednesday 9 19 Eastern we stream our live daily brew also here on YouTube too so thank you all right so what we got to talk about <clears throat> you're probably gonna hear a lot about this system entering the Caribbean we have a new little spot off of Africa we have Gaston which just got named this is in the upper Atlantic going north um, maybe some Azores impacts so we're not gonna get into that uh, then we got Fiona, which is uh, going to be a major hurricane skirting by Bermuda, but we're going to talk only about uh, Invest 98 right now, this little guy entering the Caribbean. Uh, sun going down, not looking all that impressive yet. Yet. A lot of convection. Um, there is some signs that it's developing a weak low pressure system. It's getting some lower level spinach. It's going to be nearing Trinidad and Tobago here, lower Lesser Antilles. Uh, so definitely going to be some storms and rain for them down there. But it's definitely getting some spinning on all the levels, 500, 700, 850. So definitely watching it. NHC is at 80%. Spaghetti models. All right. So we're going to dive right into it. All right. Historically speaking, any system in the Caribbean, late September, October is one to watch. Um, environmental conditions are very favorable for for um, development right now and uh, the models are very aggressive so I'm going to show you all these ensembles ensembles are great because it kind of looks at all the different thinking of this is the GFS this is on weathernerds.org latest 12z GFS so we have GFS trending a little bit to the east uh, the black line is the mean of models the average so there are some skirting it past Florida but there are a lot that are going right up through this very common passage here between you, uh, Yucatan and Cuba um, to watch. But that turn showing on most all the uh, latest GFS ensembles. The latest European ensembles here, let's pull these up real quick. <clears throat> these are your European ensembles. Now there's two schools to think of with the European ensembles. Um, we saw this with Fiona, and I'm going to post something about this here in a second. The Euro constantly with Fiona had a, a bunch of the members going weaker west, and a lot of the stronger ones doing what Fiona uh, eventually did. And we're starting to see that now with the Euro ensembles. We're seeing a bunch of them staying weaker west, it's a little bit slower motion. We're seeing a grouping of them now stronger to the north. History sometimes repeats itself. Sometimes models get a bias in a season, and uh, we're going to watch for this. Uh, but there's definitely two, two, two schools of thinking with the Euro right now. It's a, a bunch of them curving up north and, and weaker ones going off a little bit more to the west, and then eventually getting into the Gulf. But you can see a general pull north. Your actual operational models are right here. These are your tropical tidbits. 18Zs just came out. Very good track consensus that this is going to be scooting through the Caribbean. It could be nearing uh, the islands. The Jamaica, let's say, for example, would be uh, this weekend. Cayman Islands this weekend. Uh, you know, this is going to take five days or so to get to the Western Caribbean, but good consistency. This is going to get pulled up, go through the Western Caribbean here and be something to watch. Some of your weaker models are staying west. We're starting to see a bend to the north, and this is definitely something to keep an eye on. Some more spaghetti models. Um, you can see three or four now pulling up towards the Florida West Coast. As we have thunder in the background here in Oldsmar. Um, but again, uh, we are getting close to the A Bear Box, for example. Uh, the A Bear Box is a theory that puts Florida at risk, possibly. Just say uh, nothing scientific about it, but that's what this little block box right here on the Southwest Florida Water Management site is. So yes, 100% watching this system. Let's look at the actual operational models now that these came out on Tropical Tidbits. This is what's got everybody worked up. The reason I show ensembles are, <clears throat> ensembles is a blend of the GFS. There's 31 members of the GFS. That was this right here. So I'm gonna show you the GFS real quick, Tropical Tidbits. This is what the GFS has been showing 
a developing system jamaica sunday 995 just really close here through the weekend a developing system pulling north and making that little gap over cuba this would be next tuesday and there's your gfs up into the florida panhandle um thursday friday 936 one thing that we're noticing on all these models regardless of the positioning right now you got to remember this far out, trying to predict an actual pinpoint location is near, impo near impossible, next to impossible. But we are looking for trends. We're looking for uh, overall weather patterns, steering currents, and we're seeing consistency with this slow turn north into the possible Gulf. The other thing that I'm seeing a lot of is an expanding wind field showing that our system is going to get a little bit larger. And you can see that here in the latest uh, GFS, you know, expanding that wind field and and i don't have to tell you the gulf of mexico is is prime for development uh we have loop currents loop eddies i'm gonna show you in a little bit real quick i don't want to go too long but the gulf of mexico extremely favorable for uh development i'm just going to leave it right there the last several runs of the gfs has been pretty consistent um the over over the 6z this morning put a little bit more on the florida west coast overnight 00z was back up there towards the uh, upper gulf so, you know, GFS has been really consistent with a developing system here uh, into the first part of the week next week. The latest Euro, this afternoon's European model. Let me rewind it a little bit. Uh, near Jamaica, Sunday, weak system. Starts to develop it, 998, and, and here you go, 985. This is next Monday and Tuesday, and boom. Kind of fast mover, but notice the expanding wind field even on the uh, latest Euro. And it kind of puts it in the worst case scenario for Tampa Bay. I will, I will be honest with you. Um, any storm that passes north of Tampa, we're going to have to watch. But again, seven days out, man, it's a long way away. Uh, a lot of people think that if it's pointing to you now, chances are it's not going to happen. But man, we're getting a lot of model uh, support of this general trend um, to watch. All right. So there you go. Uh, strengthening, the, you know, possible these both both are showing possible major hurricane. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm being honest is what the models are showing. I can believe it. I'm seeing this split in the thinking with the euro with the weaker systems going here, stronger here. I'm kind of thinking that's what we saw with Fiona. Um, the other model that that's doing exactly what it did on our last storm. The Canadian model is trending more west. That's what it did with Fiona. Um, so there's your Canadian model. So history repeats itself. Models get biased. We're seeing CMC West. We're seeing weak ensembles West. But we're seeing a lot of models pull north. Uh, so that's kind of where we're at. Like I said, the ocean heat content, this is a map that shows how hot the water is. It's, it's very warm. Uh, dry air ahead. This is a map here that um, this is our system right now. Currently, this clump of clouds right here. And you can see very moist, uh, very little dry air ahead the um loop currents this is our loop eddies loop currents the, the gulf of uh, mexico is extremely warm any system that runs across these loop eddies and loop currents are going to have a really you know really conductive environment for some intense intensification so i'll leave it there uh last graphic here real quick um late season storms florida west coast i did this graphic years ago um just kind of showing you notable October storms uh, originate in the Caribbean down here. This was on Bay News 9. They put this together, a great little graphic. Um, these are some hurricanes that have came up, uh, eventually curving uh, Wilma, Mitch, Matthew, Michael, Opal, Hazel, Sandy. Uh, these were all storms that came out of the Caribbean, eventually curving. So, you know, that's what we're watching. But a long way away too early yet you know to make any bets just be aware but definitely a system to watch and the models are very aggressive with that so all right so there you go uh once again thanks for uh, watching this here on youtube and uh first foremost you know let's watch the progression of this thing we got a lot of people watching down the caribbean first and uh they're going to be watching this thing develop towards the weekend and then we're going to see you know a couple days we'll start to see a little more consistency with the models but uh every you know six twelve hours i'm checking them out and uh you know it's very interesting kind of kind of got a bad feeling about this one hope i'm wrong all right we'll see y'all tomorrow daily brew we do live video in the morning 9 19 eastern right here on youtube and uh, we'll do another one of these quickies probably in the morning also all right have a great night Bye bye